What brought you to the States? Was it fighting or? No, no, no. So I came uh, to visit. So my brother, my older brother came with my dad. So my mom, my mom and my dad were like, listen, this fool is getting to, like, was getting in t- too many bad friends, too many trouble. They were like, fuck this. We're not going to see our kid lose his future, blah, blah. So they did everything they can do in their hand and the power to get a visa to get him here. So they got him here, and it was him and my, my dad. And uh, I came in 2009 to visit them after I haven't seen my dad for a year, my brother for a year. I think it's more than a year, actually. But I came visit them, and then uh, we were there for like three months, and we were about to leave back. And then my mom was like, I think you and my brother, my older, my other older brother that passed away, you should stay here. And I was like, uh, I was young. I was like, I didn't even know. I was like, yeah, okay, sure, yeah. So, sure enough, 10 years later, I didn't see my mom until 10 years later. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit is crazy. So I think I, a lot of people take that for granted here, like what you have to go through to actually come here and what you're leaving behind, man. Bro, I just became a citizen last year. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. I just bro. got my citizen last Glad year. Glad to have bro. you, dude. This I is know. I was about to say, I was like, yeah. I was like, bro, I've been doing my American paying taxes, doing shit. this, doing that. You could that. have just went down to Mexico, I walked like, across the border, shit. and made some money, dude. I was like, like, bro, what the fuck? I was like, are you kidding me? But I was like, whatever. You know, it it took ten years, but like I like I said, I'm I'm very happy and blessed to be here. Obviously, you know. But uh, but yeah. So I came visiting my my dad and my brother, and then my mom obviously saw what the potential could be. So, I mean, she's right, man. She, I changed my whole life, obviously. So, but she's like, yeah, I, I think you should stay here, you and your brother. And I was like, I was like, I was a young kid. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever, sure. And obviously started going to high school and then start going and going and then fighting, got involved. Yeah. Okay. How, how did you make the transition into that? Were you wrestling or anything? No. Or so just... the funny part is not a lot of people know. I started kickboxing when I was 10 years old in Morocco. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like I, used, so my mom, well, it was me and my sister. So my mom would be like, "You guys come from school. You're going straight to the gym. I don't want you to hang out with anybody. Don't want you to do anything." Like she wants me to keep me away from everybody. And I don't know. I feel like I I've been blessed enough to to have people around me telling me to do the right things. I don't know why. I don't influence know. is huge. Yeah, right? I don't know what the hell they saw in me, but obviously I can see why. But I was just like, you know, I was just a kid. I was just living life, like whatever, you know. I wanted, I wanted to be the teenager that everybody was in Morocco, which is get in trouble and be, be, be a lot of stuff. You do drugs, do that. And, but like, my mom was like, no, like it's not happening in my watch type of deal. You the know? fun stuff. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so I was literally me and my sister would go to school, come out, go eat, do the homework that we need to do, whatever, and then train at night. And it was me and her at night, like, I'm talking like late night, walking down in the street, just me and her, teenage, like, young. So I started doing that, and I was just, like, having fun. And I did my first tournament when I was 10 years old. Got my really? ass kicked. Like, I got beat up. I were was, you fighting another 10-year-old? Or were yeah, you, like okay. another teenager, too. And it's funny. It's like, I don't know if you if you can see, if you pop it up, but it said, uh, like, put Morocco kickboxing tournament. And then, bro, they have literally just mats and two chairs where your coaches sit, and then you two go at it. That's so it. no ring. Yeah, it was yeah. Called, it was called full contact. That's what it was called. It was uh, it was not even a ring. Yeah, it was not even a ring. It was literally just a mat, but it was called full contact. That's literally you come in, you come in as a team like that with your team, and then is to have this whole mats and sit down and then like get in so that was me yeah like that see those blue mats right there oh yeah like that that's pretty much what it was and then you sit you you fight each other bro i was so nervous i thought i was gonna shit my pants and pee my pants <laughs> oh my god because it was me and the whole team they came with as they're representing the gym and then my sister so i'm looking at her and i'm looking down and i'm like fuck i was like fucking scared bro and i go in there got my ass beat you know like just by points, lost by points, whatever. I'm all sad. I'm like, fuck this. I don't want to do this. And um, kept doing My mom was like, nope, you, you're doing this. Even my dad, same thing. It was like, and I, if my dad said something, I, yes, sir, just, I'll be there. Like, I couldn't do nothing, you know? So I, I went back and they had a, a gym tournament, an inside gym tournament. 
So all they did, bro, they had two posts in the gym and they wrapped rope around it. That was the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. So I get in there and I got all the, the f homies, my my brother's side and all this stuff. They came in, watched me. I won. I, I won my fucking fight, fucking had some fun. And then everybody was like, hell yeah. So like they kind of like started loving it, you know. And obviously I had to let that go when I came to the U.S. And I started doing, I did a second grade, uh, second semester in the eighth grade because we, we didn't know where to go. We went, uh, I went to Overland High School. Mm -hmm. And then Overland High School had next to it. Was, was Colorado the, the first place first in America place, yeah. that you came? Yeah. My, wow. my, my, my brother, good state, man. My, my brother went to New York. Okay. Him and my dad, and then they moved to Colorado, so I went to see them in Colorado. So I was like, I was, yeah, I was like, first time, I, first time I landed, I saw the snow for the first time in my life. I, like, wow. I started grabbing it, started like, I tell the story to people, I like started putting it in my face <laughs> and shit like that. But that was like that, you know. And I was like, holy shit, like, this what was is your snow. first time like seeing wildlife or something like? Is that crazy? no, I, like not too crazy because in Morocco yeah. I saw some wildlife yeah. in the mountains, especially in my grandfather's house. Like he lives like right up in the mountains, like you know, like. If you look up Morocco mountains, like people live in the, like you talk about places, you're like holy shit, like how do people make it here? You know, right? Like that's that's why I feel like the toughness Some comes from, grade. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, that's fucking beautiful, like, man. Like like you have to walk down to get water. That's that's how bad it is. Yeah, but that was that, you know. So I was like, kind of like came here, and my mom was like, hey, and my my dad was like, hey, you, I think you should put him back into training. And I didn't do that until like high school. And I remember I went in, there was an American top team next to the apartment. And my dad was like, went in there and I saw, I remember Bobby Lashley, fucking huge.